every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would part. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 game today with EIF Aquinas, we're on the journeyman. Uh, I'm not going to lie, did apply for jobs, did have a couple of interviews, but fell short. They're out in the Dutchlands, yeah, I think I had two or three interviews. Um, I was never the favourite, never the favourite. But we are here to start a brand new season with the Finnish champions, EIF Aquinas. Now, a uh, lot to cover here today. Um, we've been playing the old Finnish Cup. We've safely through to the next round of that. But a whole bunch of fun. He's put a whole uh, new plethora of, of, of additions. So, I don't know which. Let's kick it off with the transfers then, shall we? Lots of ins, lots of outs. Uh, in fact, there's plenty more ins than there is outs. So, let's go back. Um, so, obviously, we got lost Diallo last year. That was That was part of the process. Um, also out, Roger Tamba in Pinda is gone. He's gone off to Cyprus to bigger, better things, making a lot, a lot of money. A lot of money. Two grand now. Uh, Abduka Agmin, he's my Afghani. He's in the youth setup. He's gone to TPV. I think they're in the first division. Uh, so good chance for him to get some game time uh, for him. Agoslav Bjorklund, he's gone to Orgardian, wherever they are. Um, he played for TPV last season in the first division. Um, yeah, it's not not really getting anywhere near us. Young Englishman Lewis Smith has gone to NJS. Um, he's tipped highly by my staff. I bought him in from uh, West Brom on loan uh, on freebie. So that is that. Let's have a little look at the released players. We lost Zacharias Erkstrom. He's now gone to Ilves. He's actually quite a decent player, but um, not for me. Not for me. Johnny Thursberg is gone. He's uh, still available. Anyone can have him. Anyone could take him. Not me, though. I did actually buy him. So, uh, yeah. Zachary Secunda is a very good player for us. He was. But um, I think the money was, was starting to creep up. He went to Gnistad last season and did okay for himself. But forever present there. Uh, two decent seasons with us. So, he's gone. Jella is gone as well. He's actually packed it in. Retired. I did try to bring him in on as a youth coach. But uh, the board weren't having it. Uh, Robert the Backman, he's gone as well. He actually played a few games for us last season. Um, but we made some very, very good additions. So I think he is surplus to requirements. So gone. Uh, as is Ruxi. Uh, again, we brought him in. It did an okay job. Uh, honkers after him. But, you know, we, we've, we've, just, we've just moved on to better things. You know, not again... He played an, a decent amount of games, but not really, not really set the place on fire. Uh, and so did Rasmus Bergstrom. Again, we bought him in with cash, actual hard-earned cash, four grand. Had a good first season, first in the first division. That's probably his level. And then next last season, he just he just couldn't break it in. So his contract came came to a bitter end. Um, as for players coming in, well, we 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 were busy. We were very very busy. Now um, a whole host, a whole host. Some are actually gone already. Uh, I'll show you why. So we did bring in Eldin Mudimovic. This is a guy, a Bosnian I bought in a while back, uh, thinking he would arrive in time nice and early. But uh, I think I signed him about 18 months ago. But he's now joined. He's absolutely shite. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with him. He plays in the under-20s, though. Not really first-team material. As is this guy, a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Uh, Ursin Yelmaltz is a Turkish striker again. Uh, he's in the, one of the lower echelons. Not getting paid at all, so it's not harming the bank balance anyway. We did bring in this guy, Francesco Campo Loni, uh, Argentinian Loni, but he's gone. He's 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 gone already. He's came in. He's gone. He went on a short-ass loan, um, and then he's gone back. I thought I thought he was going to stay much longer than that. And I think the same could be said for this guy, Alberto Diaracha, as an Argentinian striker. Got him on loan. Was very, very excited. Didn't get any game time out of him. So he came and went like the wind, like the wind. Uh, but then I did bring in some other guys. Now, this is, this is the little caveat here. Now, this is a little like a, uh, maybe a little cheat. I don't know. It's not really cheat, but it's, it's, it works. Um, go to the Brazilian leagues. Argentinian leagues and go into their under 23s or under 19 and look for players that are on contracts for around about 200 dollars uh, uh, or pounds or less and then try and, and make sure they're above the age of 17 so maybe 18 plus uh, and you can loan them 
for now. So I've actually brought in Estelio Jao, who's rated very, very highly. Good wing back, left side of, uh, of the field, cornerback, whatever you want to. Anyway, you like down the left hand side. So this guy's going to be an absolute gem for us. I played him uh, rigorously in the old Finnish Cup. Again, you got to juggle with the old uh, foreign, foreign, foreign laws and all that kind of stuff. But this guy is amazing. Uh, we have him till November, so you know I'm going to use him and abuse him as best as I can. It's just show Jaros. He doesn't really get. He won't. He's, he's nothing uh, for the for the team itself, out in Brazil. But for us. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I got him on loan. So I got his, actually his buddy. They came on the same flight. Uh, Cassio Silveira on the right-hand side. So I've got Brazilian full-backs. And they're absolutely ripping it apart for us. This guy's not doing as well. Um, so yeah, Cassio Silveira, regen, 18-year-old Brazilian. He's come in. And we've also brought in, uh, we completed the quad, or oh, 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 the trio at the back. Victor uh, on loan from VDG. Vasco da Gama, maybe. Uh, decent centre-back. Very, very good. Uh, Ruxi, you're no longer needed. This guy comes in and does an absolute treat again could go as high as five stars very very good uh, has improved our uh, defensive standard very, very good. and I, I just took the piss I took the piss I, I got this guy as well Argentinian left back uh, again could go as high as five stars uh, hasn't haven't really played him too much in the old Finnish cup I'm gonna you know I gotta, I gotta go where 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 needs must very highly uh, sought after as well good stats good attributes this guy could be dangerous on the left hand side uh, so Podja Hamadric he comes in and brought in Lucas as well striker uh, again could go as high as five stars very good physicals his technicals that are okay but we're in, we're in Finland we're in Finland I expect this Lebanese international to cause all kinds of problems if we choose to go with go there so that was the loans I brought in a whole shit ton load of loans uh, and then I brought in some players obviously we brought in Chiba Lawrence who was a loan last time out very good player this guy could go all the pissing way high wages though 425 pound but uh decent attacking midfield slot that's probably where he's going to sit uh, again we've got to juggle the old foreign laws and all that kind of good stuff uh did bring in uh, some finnish guys uh kasperi Likinen. uh this guy we got him out of contract i think from Knistad. he did all right for himself as well i think i'm actually paying quite a bit of money 750 pounds a week uh, that is a lot of money. I just had a, an email, actually, from the board saying he, we're paying too much money for him. Anyway, 6 uh, 89. He's, he's got good goal, goals in him. Can play on the right-hand side. Striker, left-hand side. He's, he's a bit universal. Can play a bit anywhere. Uh, and again, very good stats. Uh, very highly rated uh, finish player. Then we've got another one here. Solomon Ojala comes in uh, anywhere in the attacking trio there. It's a striker, attacking midfield, or box down in midfield. 24-year-old Finland folk. Um, and he also did very well last season. 6.98, 10 goals in the first division. Can he make the step up? Uh, I'm, putting, I'm pinning my hopes on him. Uh, then we've got in another Finnish guy. His name is Donny Afri, uh, defensive midfielder, replacing Jella, perhaps. His, his technicals aren't the greatest. Decent physicals as well across the board. 19 years of age. Could go as high as five stars. Again, I gobbled him up from uh, from FC Honka. Uh, just played the one game uh, last season for the first team. Um, but uh, the academy, he did all right. Uh, 10 assists from defensive midfield as well. So he came in. Uh, we brought in Maya Traore. Uh, could go as high as four stars. He's a Guinean striker. Uh, increasing our striking options. He scored quite a few goals over the past year. Double-digit man, really. One every two. So I'm hoping he can be uh, the man for us this season when needs must. Uh, Mikio Lurie. He's been absolutely phenomenal in the old uh, Finnish Cup. He is a Finnish uh, inter well, international uh, Finnish player. He played on the right-hand side. Uh, wing back as well. So uh, that suits our style style um yeah decent uh, couple of seasons as well in the first division for Sao Pa we know Sao Pa uh, and he's a decent little acquisition um I actually paid money for Traore as well 2000 did pay money for this guy as well William Granath Swedish also high money 750 uh, pound a week uh, amazing physicals Play on the right-hand side as striker as well not really kicked it up just yet but look at those stats for you uh, 14 goals 7.31 average, uh, double di double seasons uh, in, in the first division north, so he could be a good player. Uh, Veski Kunnanen uh, is a, another Finnish guy, uh, valued at one point five thousand pounds. We spent we spent one point one on him. He had a decent season of Hercules, six point seven two. He's still young as well, uh, 20, 20 years of age. That, that's what's getting me the job interviews. Is the that I like to bring in the young lads. Uh, this guy's been very very good. Iro Vana uh, is coming. Uh, our defensive midfield as well played him in the cup a couple of times on the substitute spirits uh, good averages as well over the years from South Par as well 
And then Julian Brown, we brought him in a while back. Uh, striker, 17 year old, could go as high as three stars. That is the transfers. Very, very much so. The finances is not great. We got our sponsorship money already. It's gone. It's gone. Absolutely gone. Um, we are just a bit too much on the away budget. And hopefully uh, that Champions League stuff can come around soon and we can get some money in the bank. Um, since you've been gone, obviously, the, we, we played a whole bunch of friendlies. Um, and we've also played the Finnish Cup. So I'll show you the goals coming at you. Also, I had some, some very, very surprise, nice names coming through on trial. Uh, and I'll show you them in just a second. So we start up our Finnish uh, Cup campaign up against HJK with Pablo Zabaleta starting. Oh yeah, on on loan. Uh, I mean uh, on uh, on trial. Uh, very very good player, but uh, can't afford him. Two one we won. Gusted Ulmanen once again the deadly duo. So Rudy Gusted opened up a score sheet on the eleventh minute with a header. Arlo uh, for the opposition made it all square one one before Ulmanen uh, gets on the score sheet. Zabaleta with the throw in assist. 2-1. Job done. Then we took on the boys. IFK Maddenheim. And we went 3-0 at our own gaff. And our own gaff. Martin Olsen. Or Marcus Olsen. He came in on loan as, uh, on a trial. Uh, it is very good as well. 3-0. Uh, Albanen with a brace today on the 8th minute. We got in, got in front. Kudu with the assist. Albanen, a top left-hand corner. Ain't catching that one, he said. Second goal of the day coming from uh, Lindholm. Picks up the ball here. Creates something out of nothing. And there goes Lure. With a goal, something like that, to make it 2 0. And then Ullman makes it 3 uh, with his second of the day. A bit of a defensive howler here. Olsen with the cross, pinpoint header. Ullman and heads it on home. Uh, an assist for Olsen, not too shabby. Then we did lose to SJK 3 1. It was the Billy Iron Show. The hosts were 3 0 up before half time. Billy Iron's on an amazing little run here. Six minutes in, rifles at home. Nutella, is it Nutella? I don't think, actually, maybe Nutella wasn't in goal at this point. Um, they made it 2 0 on the 14th minute. Comes out through to uh, Lepestio. Long range effort. Keeper had no chance, whoever was between the sticks. And then uh, Billy Iron's made it 3 0. Get the ball out here. On a plate. Top left hand corner. Irons made it 3 0. And then we made it uh, a little bit interesting for ourselves with Lindholm uh, scoring this one. Not a bad goal, but uh, 3 1. Yeah, Tony Gronus uh, in, in goal. Nutella picked up an injury. We followed that defeat with a draw against AC Ulu, Jokalin, Jokalainen, and the Gusted locking horns once again. Rudy opened up the scoring on the 41st minute. Luilelia with the cross. Gusted right for that home to make it 1 0. But the Jokesta, Jokalainen, uh, 90th minute. Where is it? Here it comes. Lumped forward by Lumpy Lumpster, and then Joker Line just rounds the keeper, puts it in the back bins, and it is 1 1. After a few game friendly games, we come back into the Finnish Cup. Uh, already qualified, I think, and we won 3 1 against KPV. KPV actually took the lead here with Matthias Linfort. We'll put up the scoring on the uh, fifth minute. But after that, it was all us. 15th minute in. It was actually Chima Lawrence's uh, de uh, time to shine here with a goal. Uh, he created a whole bunch, a whole handful of stuff here. Jama out wide to Ludi. Dancing in there. Up stops Ojara with a goal. And then to make it 3-0, job done. Jama stalls. Push it out wide to Ludi. Strikes it. Goal. The new boys settling in nicely. 3-1. So that um, did okay for the old group. Top top of the table there. Just the one defeat. Uh, 10 points out of a possible, uh, whatever, 15, something like that. Um, streets ahead of everybody else. Uh, we drew uh, I Klesit, who are non-league or lower league or whatever they are, in the next round. That'll be uh, in a few days' time or whatever. But anyway, we're going to take on KPV today. Just the one game. Obviously, a lot to talk about. So uh, let's get it on uh, and hopefully start the season with a win. So here we are, here we are, here we are. Up against KPV. The record between these two sides, three wins for EIF, uh, one win for KPV. It's decisions, decisions time. Now, I just don't know. I just don't know. Let's clear their lineup. And we're going to pick the team, you and I, right here. Um, we're going to start with goal. Nutella has to go in goal. He is number one. Ikronos did an okay uh, job for the time being. Now, left back. The story of the left back. Danny Arm was the man. But these Brazilians have come in and they look the part. So I'm going to start with my Brazilians. How many can I play? Three non-EU players. Uh, so, Oliver, is this the other one? Yeah, it is. He's going to come in at right back. And then we're going to put Victor in as well. And that completes the three. That is it. No more. So I don't know if Rudy Gestead can, can play. He might be okay. He's actually got an injury two days. Uh, what about Lawrence? Does that confuse matters? 
No, no, Lawrence is okay. Why is he okay? Interesting. No clue why he is eligible. We will find out. We will find out. So now we need to get a lot of fin Finnish guys in there. So what about centre-back? Uh, Lindqvist is centre-back. He can come in. And away we go. Up steps into defensive midfield. Jammer. Uh, I think you're going to have to be the man pulling the strings for the time being. Boom. Uh, left side of midfield. Pooch's boys would be a good option. But we're going to sidestep you for the time being. And we're going to go with Kuru, obviously. He's a decent little option. On the right-hand side, Lulier's done okay for himself. Ajara, not so much. So we're going to go with Lulier on the right-hand side. Get those numbers up uh, into attacking midfield. So we've already got uh, Lawrence. Uh, where is my main man, Ullman? And he's going to be leading the line. And we're going to throw in... Um, can't throw him in. We're going to throw Grand Wrath in there. Grand Wrath. Who's been a bit of a letdown at the moment. Uh, so now we need to pump pump, pump the bench with a whole load of players in there. Uh, so Grondros will be one. Now get some youngsters in there. Alfie. Kilkic. Vanana. Lindholm. Kudujaro. And we will uh, wrap it up with Traore. Hopefully that will do. Uh, that is the lineup. Um, yeah, I think it's not a bad looking lineup. Still got a few options on the, on the outskirts. Ajara. Yeah, you have to wait your time. So that is it. That's the lineup. And hopefully it's, it's going to start with a win. We are playing away. It's never always good. Let's, let's see how we go. So here we go. Debuts for. Nobody. They've all played in the Finnish Cup. Hopefully we can get a win. So, let's get it on. We are playing in our white jerseys. Uh, green shorts up against the green tops and the white pants of KPV. The Brazilians causing all kinds of problems already. We might have a free kick here in a dangerous position. Ludier is on it. Oh, it's a good little effort. Keeper was scrambling. So, I've got my Brazilian uh, back three there trying to keep us tight. Here's Silvia with a throw. Straight to the arms of Matinin. They could be the answer to, for us to have another incredible season. Or they could be a uh, catastrophe. Because Ben Patton can't get in there. That, that was my that's my aim. Or oh, it's not my aim, but uh I'm looking at I'm looking at the future, obviously. I'm getting close to a possible new job. Um where they may be in the world. Ullman and picks this one up, holds up play lovely. And here comes Jammer on a nice little Maisie run. His shot goes nowhere. Ullman picks it up, spreads it out wide to the right hand side. Kick picked up by Silvera. Lulier uh, back to Silvera. Can he get across in? No, it's hit up against a KPV man. I'll go out. But um, yes, I'm, I'm looking at my boys and thinking who would be, like, if I'd got any of those Dutch jobs, who would be good enough to play in the Dutch second tier? I think we've got a whole host of them that could play. Ben Patton would be one of my options. And that's a great effort. Kuru, Kuru as well was a decent little option. Um, obviously, Ullman can score goals. Gestead is my main man. I'm going to try and take him wherever I go. Um, so we have some guys I'd like to bring with me. But it's just, can they cut it? Can they cut it? Here come uh, KPV now with Valderstog. Uh, crosses. So it's a goal. Simo Roya has uh, put KPV in front. It's not good. It's not the greatest start to the season. 25 minutes in. I think we've been with the better side. Here comes uh, EIF Aquinas. Ullman pulls it back. Jao Major cross. Oh, it's a lovely goal, but it's been stricken off. Lulier. Lulier has been uh, ruled out offside. He gets into those little crafty little spots. We don't want to see it again. That's just making it painful. So it's 1-0 still to KPV. Wouldn't be the greatest start to the season if we lose here. Silvera. Crosses this time and it's straight into the arms of Matten. And we are creating the chances. It's just not going our way. Matten with the goal kick. Picked up by Jao. Amazing inward run over the top. Uh, comes back out to Lulier. Granith. Stalls to Silviera. Can he get across it? No. He's got his pocket picked and away come. KPV on the ups. Uh, uh, the urgency. Skull pull it back. Oh, get rid of it. Claziness. It's all gone mad. 
Throw in again. Ullman and stalls. Ludier gets his pocket picked as well. I don't like that move. I don't like that move where they stop it and they just... They leave it. Leave it there for easy pickings. Here comes KPV, a second goal. Would probably... He's put it in the back of his own net. Victor, my Brazilian little hotshot centre-back, has it kicked us off with an absolute nightmare. What is this shite? What is this shite? We're down bottom of the table. We've started the season in the worst possible fashion. Fafana scoring goals as well. He's a little punk that I've always wanted, but just can't afford it. What to do now? What to blooming do? Nutella, what you doing? Sticky fingers, mate. Pick it out. It's half time. It's absolute catastrophe. The, 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 the champions are absolutely all over the shop. We need something special. Second half. Who's to provide it? Can we get a bit of something? I'd love to get a point out of this now. KPV, punksters. Come on, then. Brazilians. Slipped inwards. Lawrence. You've been quiet. Jammer over the top. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Kudu. I'm looking at probably taking Lawrence off. Keep it alive. Have a shot. Oh, it was good. It was very, very good. Silva with a long throw towards Ullman and can't get on it. Jammer. He'll like a strike. Sets up Lulier. Out wide. Oh my goodness, lovely little setup play, but uh, Martin in with the grab. And it's still 2 0 to KPV. Could be 3 0 here. Ollie's through. Nutella with a great save. Action Jackson. KPV really running right on us, and this will not be the start that we'd hoped. Triple subage. Great save, plucked out of thin air. What you got up your sleeve now, Sunny Jim? Go creative. Let's push forward. We've got to attack. We've got to attack. Sixty minutes down. This has been it's been a rough ride. I don't think we're going to be bottom. I think they're going to be another team worse off than us. Over the top, no one's on it. Long ball, Lindqvist back to Nutella. What you got up your sleeve, son? Come on, place it short to Victor. Put us. This big fat OG has made it so bad. Uh, Lindholm picks it up. What you got? What you got? Plays it out wide to Kudujado, the substitute. Uses his options, but he screws it up. Picked up now by Silveira, the Brazilian. He's on an amazing little run. Sets it up on the left-hand side to Muckaboy. Kudu is down, but it's tripped. And away they go. KPV on the counter-attack. That is what it's all about. They're counter-attacking, and they're picking us apart. Bit by bit. Here comes Nutella. Plays it short again. Lindqvist. Out wide to Silvera. We need a goal. We need a goal now. Uh, Kudujara on an amazing little run. Poor pass. All the way back through to the keeper. A bit of pressure maybe. No. Fired and here comes KPV with Baisakja. Stalls. Get rid of it. Tackle him. Stalls. Come on. Oh, what's going on? There could even be a red card in all this mess. It's a free kick. Baisakja. We want to forget about this one already. 60 minutes down. It's not looking like we're going to get anything out of this. Jow with the throw in. <sighs> Fired down the line. Cleaned up by Jammer. To the left-hand side. Kudu crosses. Oh, mate. Should have had Gusted at the top there. Martinen fires it long. Anything. Just one goal would change this game for us. Over the top. Straight in the arms of Nutella. 2-0. Anything left? Any got anything left for me? 75 minutes gone. Less than 10 minutes to go. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me have a look. Let's have a quick scan here. Maybe we can change formation slightly and, and, and spring a surprise on them. Kudu. Let's try that. Picked up. Much more narrow now. 
spread it. Come on. Cross. I think he was offside anyway. Final five minutes. There it is. It's over. It's the final nail. We've been comfortably beaten here today, boys. Comfortably beaten. We just don't I just don't know. Maybe maybe it's it's all for show. And we got to go to Holland or something. Ron Eilton, he's probably another Brazilian that they've picked up on a on a loan. Yep. They got all the good ones. Sea of Green. There might be a chance for a consolation goal if we can get on this. Victor. Jammer. Slots it down the line for Granith. Score a goal for me, will you? There we go. At least that's something that you can get excited about. Demand more. Straight from kickoff would be nice. Well, looks like FC Lackey will be bottom. Uh, we will not be. Or will we? Or will we? We might be. We might be. Look at that stinking shot. Absolutely battered. It's like a fish and chip shop. It's battered all over. What a disgrace. Hang your head in shame, the lot of us. Hang your head in shame. Rudy, sort them all out. No Rudy, that's what you need. You see, you need Rudy. But, uh, yeah, not the greatest start to the season. But, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what goes on. I will keep on looking for jobs. Uh, this is the situation. We're in the relegation zone as it stands. Uh, we've probably rode our luck. Uh, rode our luck so far in Finland. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up. Tomorrow we'll come back. We might come back for the for the cup game. And then uh, IFK Maddenheim, obviously, our bitter rivals. Uh, but you never know. We might come back sooner because uh, you never know what's out there. Uh, do you want to have a quick look what's out there? You've had a lot to do today. A lot to see. Uh, these are the current jobs out there. I have applied for NAC Brenda, I think. Yeah, it's got, it's been and gone, been and gone. Uh, to be honest with you, there's not much out there that I'm interested in. Anyway, folks, come back tomorrow and you'll catch up with uh, more adventures from EIF Aquinas. Maybe something else you never know, but until then, we're out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.